Hello and welcome to All Around the Board. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Wingspan and both of the expansions. Now the Wingspan Oceana expansion has just arrived, but I thought I haven't actually done the base game nor the European. I have mixed it all in, but we are going to focus on the Oceana goals and some little add-ons that you may find for that. But the other expansion for the European doesn't add a lot it adds a few cards and uh, yeah i think it's fine to just add that in as well and we we'll talk about it as we go and since i'll be showing you the expansion i may as well teach you the base game as we play because this is going to be a how to play through for all three of these games so keep watching because we're going to explain everything that we're doing as we play I just want to have a huge shout out to Dagobo's Grotto for making us this wonderful dice tower. I mean, the base game comes with a cardboard one, but this is actually made out of wood and a bit of metal on the top. So, yeah, it's a really nice finish. It looks so natural uh, and we love having it. So before we start, we're going to talk about a few things that we need to set up. Before we do the player setup of cards, I'm just going to show you what you need out on the table. So if you're playing with the Oceana expansion, each player will need one of these boards each. And then give each player a colour. We're then going to set out the eggs so all players can reach. There is no reference to the different colours. They're, they're all the same. You just... I guess pick your favourite colours. I mean, all the purples will be gone because I love purple. Um, but note they have no meaning on colour, so you can just lay them all out mixed. Then you need to get this gold card and you need to decide if you're going to do how many of each or if you flip it over, it's got the person who's done it the most, second most, and so on. We're going to use the goals that come with the Oceana expansion and I've included some really weird ones. This one um, is just odd. Beak pointing right and then on the other side it's just being pointing left i'm not entirely sure i mean it's a bit weird but anyway we'll go with it um and then interestingly I've, I've put this one in as well which is no goal so for round two there's just just nothing um which was another weird thing but you know i thought i'd include the ones from oceana and these are double-sided with some on the other side but these were the most interesting ones or very unique you'll also put the end of round reference there so you know everything you're doing each round You'll lay out all your food tokens and your nectar tokens. You can mix them all together, but um, yeah, they don't fit in those, so I've just got those separate. Then you want to shuffle all the cards that you want to use. You don't have to include both expansions, but we have, so there are tons of cards. And then you're just going to lay out three of them from the tops of the decks. And it doesn't matter which deck you choose from, it's just split into three because there's so many of them. Then you're going to get your bird feeder, and if you're using the Oceana expansion, you're going to use these die with the nectar symbols on. But if you're not playing with that expansion, you just use the previous die that you get from the base game. So now we're going to move on to the player setup. So what you want to do is you need to shuffle these cards and deal each player two each and we're going to be choosing one of these two in a mo and i'll look in more detail about what they are but let's just talk about the setup for now then you're going to want to give each player one type of food each of the five and i've just put them so they're laid out so you can see you don't have to put them over the cards and then each player is going to receive five cards that they're going to choose from Additionally, you're going to also get one Nectar each if you're playing with the Oceana expansion. But if you're not, you don't need to do that and we'll just look at this setup. So with these five cards, we can keep as many as we want. But for each card that we keep, we have to lose one of these food types. So it's a little bit of a balance of do I want lots of food and no cards? Or do I want lots of cards but no food? Or you can do a bit of both. So typically, I, I don't know, I keep maybe two or three birds so that I've still got two or three food. And we're allowed to look at these before deciding on one of these to keep. 
So firstly, I'm going to choose one of these two cards. Now, looking at what I've got, this one is birds named after a person, and this one is birds that can only live in water. Given my dealt hand, I've actually got three that only live in a water space. So I think I'm actually going to go for that one. I prefer these because these are more interesting and it makes you look at the bird names. But um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one and that can go to the discard pile. And I'm going to keep this one, the Wetland Scientist. So I'm going to keep these two cards because one, they only require one food each. So I can get them out pretty quickly. But this one will allow me to play that one straight away. And this one is actually letting me trade food as well. So that's quite a nice one to start with. So I'm definitely going to go with those two. I'm looking at the other ones and I'm not really fond of them. I'm going to get rid of these three cards here. So I'm only going to keep two. Which means I've only got to get rid of two food types. Looking at the top, this one costs a green and this one costs a green or a fish. So I definitely want to keep these two. 100% want to keep those. And because this is a common one, I'm just going to keep the yellow. So because I've kept two cards, I get rid of two food. The other cards can just go into a discard pile. So this is everything that I'm starting with. This is my starting mission. These are the two cards I'm starting with and this is the food that I have. As soon as all players are set up, we are ready to start the game. So in Wingspan, we are gonna be using action cubes to trigger certain actions depending on what section you go to. There are four sections you can do. You can do play a bird, you can gain food, you can lay eggs and you can draw bird cards. All of these actions are really important in getting your engine building because as you place birds out, you get better actions as you play. And you'll see how that unfolds as we play. It's worth noting what we're scoring points for. So we are scoring points for the birds themselves. On the birds, they have points, as you can see here with the feather. You're going to score points for your bonus cards, depending on if you've completed them or not. You're going to score points for end of round goals. So for this particular one, you're going to get a point each and you're going to say how many times you've done that thing and you're going to mark it with a cube. So round one, it's going to be worms in the food cost of your birds, which is pretty good because both of mine have a worm in the food cost. So if I can get them out in the first round, I'm going to have two points already for that. Then you're going to get one point per egg. So these eggs, once they're laid on birds and they'll put, you'll put them on top of the cards, you will get a point per. There are some birds that allow you to store food. So where that says food on the cards, that is food that you actually stash with the bird and not in your supply. Then you're going to get one point per tucked card. So a tucked card is typically a predator bird will eat other birds and it will say tuck a card or a bird may have other abilities that allow you to tuck cards to draw more cards for example but for each tuck card you're going to get one point and then something new which is in the oceana expansion is the nectar so this is our nectar and this is going to be spent on doing actions and spent on birds but wherever you spend it whichever biome that you use that nectar in you are going to keep it on these spaces here and at the end of the game the person with the most and the second most is going to get five or two points and that's for every section as well so the more nectar you spend the more chance of getting some extra points i like the addition of the the new points there because that isn't included in the european or the base a little more about the nectar nectar is actually a wild resource so actually we can use that for any cost so it can be used for the green it can be used for the blue it can be absolutely anything you want the only downside is at the end of the round any unspent nectar unfortunately goes back to the supply the other food doesn't the other food will carry over so to play a round we're going to be playing on the first round eight actions with these actions we're going to take one of our cubes that we haven't used and we're going to select one of the four actions and it's important that we leave the cube with the action that we've selected because there are birds later on that might have specific uh, cubes spent on certain actions. So we're going to go ahead and start. I've got the first player marker um, which is not a real first player marker but that's what I use anyway. And I'm going to pick one of my actions to do. Okay, so to start the round, I'm going to take my action cube. And I think I'm just going to get some extra cards. So I can select one of these four actions. These are three of them. And then this one along the top is a fourth action. It's a bit smaller, but it, but it is an action up there. But I'm going to go ahead and do draw bird cards. And you're going to put it in the leftmost space that's available. So I'm just going to put it here. And what this means is I can draw a card... And then I can spend an egg or an nectar to draw an extra card. 
So the first thing I will do is I will draw one card. I can either I can either take one of these three cards that's on the display, which looking at them, uh, I might get this one, or I can take a random. So I'm going to go for this one and hope that I've got something good. Uh, there we go. So that could be played in blue or green, and it takes a worm or a wild. So I'm going to grab that one. And I'm not going to spend the extra to draw a card. Once you've done the action, you're then going to move your card to the left and leave it in this section here because it might be important for future birds uh, to keep track of where your actions have been spent. Right, then it is on to Jade. What are okay. you going to do? So I am going to play a bird. Yeah, so she's going to go on the top space there for play a bird. I will spend the wild. Yeah. They put it there. You do. Uh, which the column are you going to do for the green column? Yes. So because she's spending the wild nectar on a green card, it will just go into this section here. And uh, what do you get? Um, so it's just... when I when played, draw two cards. Nice. Okay, because it's got a white ability. Some of these have got a white ability that just says when played. Hers is just draw two. And again, she could have drawn it from there or randomly from the selection. Okay, so it's going to go onto my go. Yep, yeah, move that over to the left. And I'm going to go ahead and do another action. I will go up the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and play a bird. And I'm going to play it in this column here. And I'm going to select this one. And I am going to pay one nectar. And I'm going to put it into the green area. So I'm going to place that. Spin my nectar and put it in the green. And yep, that will get me, uh, well, no points. But it's got a good ability, which I want. And now that action is done. I'm going to slide that over into the play a bird section. Then it's back to Jade. Okay, I am going to get myself a little egg. Yeah. Get egg and I will put it on there. So Jade done this action here. So it's lay an egg and you can put an egg on any bird as long as you've got room. You can tell if it's got room because it will tell you how many eggs it can have max, which is this symbol here. And then she could either discard a card or a food to lay another egg. Did you want to do that? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Okay. And then she'll just move her cube over. Okay, so on to my go. And I'm going to go ahead and lay an egg myself, actually. So I'm going to go there and I grab an egg and I'm going to put it on this bird up here. And then here I've got spend a card or a food to lay another egg. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend this corn and I'm going to lay a second egg on this bird. And then it's back to Jade. Okay, I am going to play a bird. Yeah. Which costs me a little worm sluggy thing. <laughs> worm sluggy thing, oh, it's yeah. Always one of those, isn't it? And I'll place that right there. Okie dokie. Um, what does that have there? It says at the bottom, oh, when played. When played, play another bird in your yellow area. Yellow area. It costs its normal cost with an one egg so discount. Jade can place a second bird here. But then it would cost an egg plus its food. Have you got one that you want no, to place I there? Can't. No, okay, you don't have to do that ability, but it is uh, beneficial. In fact, I'm going to do something very similar because I'm going to go ahead and play a bird. So I'm going to do it in this column. Um, obviously, I'm not placing a bird there. I'm going to be placing a bird here. I'm going to go ahead and play this one, which costs me one green, and it can fit right there. So there we go. There's my green going into the supply. So I can play another bird in my blue. Pay its normal cost with a one egg discount, which is really good. So it doesn't actually cost me another egg to play this one. So I'm going to play the fish for this one and chuck that in. And as you can tell, uh, I've got that. So two birds in one action was really good. I'm going to slide that over. All right, back to Jade. Okay, I'm going to gain some food. Okay, so that is on the slot there. It's the equivalent of this one. And firstly, she can pay a resource to re-roll the die in the bird feeder. Do you want to do that first before you start? No, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, so then once she's decided to do that or not, she can then take two die out of the bird feeder. And what you'll do is you'll just take the die out to one side and you'll select the food that it matches. If it's got a slash, you can choose which of the resources you want. Okay, so I'm going to get this one and this one. Yeah, okay, so which two resources are you oh, actually choosing? I will choosing? take the nectar and yep. the worm. Okay, nectar and the worm. Obviously she could have had a berry or a corn, but she didn't. So, Okay, so look at what I have. I've got nothing here with... Uh, well, I've got no cards. So there isn't really anything I'll work towards. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go here. So this allows me to draw two cards. 
um, which I will. I think I'm going to get too wild. There we go. And then underneath, it's spend an egg or a nectar to draw an extra card. Well, I'm going to spend one of these eggs, and I will get an extra card. So I've got one from each pile, and I'm going to go ahead and see what I've got. It is worth noting there is no hand limit, so you can have as many cards as you want in hand. And sometimes it's best to have lots of extra cards, because if you've got tuck abilities or anything like that where you need to discard, it's quite handy. Uh, I've got some nice stuff. Rats, this is a predator. It might be useful. Um, lay an egg on each bird in your yellow, including that one. That's not bad. Um, it'll gain all the fish that are in the bird feeder. Oh, blimey. These are quite good cards, actually. So I might look at them, and I need some in the yellow. It's quite good to get a balance um, so that you've got better actions across the board. So I might actually look at playing one of these two. Once you've done the action on this space, you'll then move your cube over and trigger any of these brown abilities going from right to left. So this one says, when activated, trade one resource for any resource from the supply. I don't actually have any resources, so I can't do that ability. And I'm going to slide that over, and then it's back to Jade. I'm going to draw a card. Yeah. And I will also spend a the nectar, nectar to Which goes cards. on the spent area. So any time you spend nectar in that row, you will always put nectar on. So, uh, yeah, draw two. It's going wild as well. It yeah. appears we don't actually like what's out, it seems. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you get to obviously put them in your hand yeah. and then that moves over. So back to myself and I'm going to do huh, a food action, I think, given that there's two green in there. So I'm going to go here. I can spend a food to re-roll, but I don't because the two food I want, I definitely want these two green here. So I take those out and I fetch myself two green from the supply. And that will allow me to play this one in a minute. As soon as I've done that action, I can move this over to the left and I can trigger this ability. So discard one worm if I do I get a nectar. So I'm actually going to trade one of those that I've just got and I'm going to go ahead and get my nectar. Jade, back to you. Okay, I am going to play a bird yep. in this one here. So it will cost me an egg. Yeah. And it will also cost me a grain. Yeah. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's got a nice ability, and then that slides over to the left. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and, okay, for my next action, I'm going to do a player bird, and I'm going to be playing in this slot here. I'm going to spend two green, but one of them is going to be the wild nectar. The wild nectar is going to go here, and the green will go back to the supply, and I'm going to place this bird here. This has got a when played ability, so it says lay one egg on each bird in your yellow area including this one. So I'm going to get a free egg out of that one. Nicely done. And uh, yep, yeah, that's done with the player bird, so it's back to Jade. Okay, so I am going to gain food. Yeah. But I'm also going to spend a card so I can get three. So you can get three food, okay. So before you do the gain food action, if the remaining die in the bird feeder are all the same, or there's only one left, you get to re-roll all of them before picking. Yeah. Do you want to do that, yeah? yeah? Okay, so uh, shall we use the bird feeder for how it is? It's gonna be very hard to do this left-handed, but you can just chuck them in the back of the bird feeder, and there we go, we re-roll them. So you get three of those. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, okay, wow. So... There's so much nectar there. I'm going to take it all as nectar. Three nectar, wow. Bearing in mind that whatever you don't spend at the end of the round goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, as long as you know that. That was such a good roll. Okay. Um, okay I'm... Oh, yeah, sorry. And then you've got your brown ability. So okay. what does your brown uh, ability gain do? Gain a wee from the supply and cash it on this card. Nice. So if it says cash, that means to store it on. And that is part of the um, food on cards or the stored food um, points that you get. And you're all done, yeah? I'm done. Okay. So... Oh, last action of this round. What can I do? Um, foods with, uh, what's that? In food cost of your birds. I've already got one, two, three, four of those. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, these birds I'm not too happy with, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and draw two cards. And I'm going to spend an egg. So I'll spend this one so I can draw myself three cards. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three. One from each pile. Then I'm going to move this over here, and again, trade one for any one, but I don't have any food remaining, so this just slots over to the left. Jade, onto your last action for the round. So I'm going to place a bird down here. 
Yeah, okay, what's the cost? So there's obviously no egg because it's in the first slot. Yeah, and it's three, it's two, it's two um, fish and one worm, but I'm play, paying three. Oh, three nectar, wow, yeah. okay. Well, I'm going to lose it otherwise. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yep. Yeah. So um, she's spent four nectar in total on the bottom, so I think you might get the points for that. Mm -hmm. um, and then that obviously slides over. Yeah. And we are done for the round. So the first round is eight actions. Next round will be seven, then six, then five. Um, because we're going to now mark how many points we have. Before we do that, we are going to go through this order here. So it says use end of round bird powers if playing with the uh, that expansion, but none of us have those just yet. So hopefully we'll see them later. Um, once you've done that, you can discard any unused of the nectar, which none of us have. Uh, then we score end of round goal. So the end of round goal here was uh, worms in the food cost. So you take one of your cubes from anywhere and um, I've got four of them. Um, how many have you got? Four. Got four as well. Wow, okay, so we've both got four points on that. Okay, once we've done that, we remove all action cubes. So all the ones that we've spent this round, we're going to take them off and just put them to one side, leaving us with seven because one of the cubes has gone up there. Then it says discard and replace all cards in the bird tray, which, yep, yeah, those three are going to go and we're going to get three more. And it says there, if round four is over, use the game end powers. But we're not doing that. We are going on to round two. So I'm going to pass the first player marker on to Jade. And she is going to start us off for round two. So um, there isn't a goal for this one. However, there is nothing stopping you uh, doing these actions. Although this one is going to be round specific because it says cubes on the, that area. But you can also work towards birds with the beak <laughs> pointing right. It's the most random uh, thing, but I guess it makes sense. I've got one at the moment, so uh, these these are looking more favourable for the, towards the end of the game. Okay, Jade, what are you going to be doing? I'm going to gain food. I'm also going to discard a card so I can get three. Okay, cool. So uh, you would have to take those two first. That's fine. I'll take those okay, two. Okay, to empty it. So that so is a rat and... I'll take a... Nectar? Nectar, yeah. Okay, so she's taken those two out. But she's got a third one. Because it's the same action, she gets a reroll. I'm just going to use the front there. And you get one more food out of that. I'll take a little wormy. A worm? Okay, so we'll take that out. I'm just going to move that rat over. Cool, okay. On to my go. Oh my goodness. Uh, and I'll cash Oh yes, a, sorry. Gain a corn and that's done. Cash it on that card. Yep. So that's two points right there. It's worth noting that you can't actually spend this food if it's cashed. You can only spend food from your supply. This is just for points. I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to try and get some food towards these because these can go in any area. Um, oh, wild, so I can have anything I want. Um, do I try fish? Because then I can get this one as well. Place this bird sideways so that it covers two water spaces. Pay the lower egg cost. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get myself some fish then. So I'm going to go here and I will get myself the two fish from here, whoops, okay, that was a fish. Um, take those out, there we go. Okay, Jade, on to you. Okay, I'm going to get myself two eggs. Nice, and where are you going to lay them? You can split these up as well, they don't have to go onto the same bird, as long as you don't go over the quantity. So this one can have four, this one can have two, uh, and so on. Okay? Yep. You're done on that one. So it's back to myself. I think I'm actually going to do, I'm going to play this grey heron. I'm going to show you how that works. So, okay, so I'm going to go and take one of my cubes. I'm going to put it up here. Um, I'm going to pay one egg. So I'll take it off of this bird here. And I'm going to play the grey heron. Now it plays sideways because it takes up two uh, spaces and that cost me the two fish. Uh, now because that covers two spaces I'll be using that action uh, which is pretty good and it's got a blue cost so that's really good. Okay so I'm going to uh, draw two cards. I will draw this one. You can if you want spend a food to refresh them if you wanted. No. Nope. Okay you're going to take that one specifically okay. and then once and then you finish your whole turn before you refill. Okay. And I'll get a random one. Okay yeah sure. Okay. And then you do your brown ability. Okay, when activated, steal one fish from another player's supply and cash it on this bird. They gain one food from the bird feeder. Ha! Don't I've spent all of it, I just spent okay. it. Well, that was lucky, wasn't it? Okay, yeah. and then move that over. 
Um, I will, oh, don't know what to do now, to be honest with you. What have I got? Have I got anything nice? If this bird is to the right of all of the birds, it can move. That's quite a nice one, the common night hawk. Uh, this one, each player gains a food from the bird feeder, starting with the player of your choice. Quite like those. Um, so I'm going to try and get some food for that, I think. Um, let's go and do that then. So I'm going to do this action. I get two food, so I just get a fish and a rat, and then move that over. Discard a worm, but I don't have one, so that's that done. Uh, you'll go, Jade. Okay, so I'm going to play a bird, which will cost me an egg. Yeah. And it will also cost me a worm, a rat, and a random one. Yeah. Put that in there. Nice. Okay, and that's a, is that a predator you've got there? Yeah, it's just yeah. got the predator symbol. Okay, that'll be interesting. We'll see how that works when she plays it. Um, do, 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 uh, do I play a bird? No, I haven't got any eggs, so I definitely need some eggs, don't I? So I'm going to go here just to lay two eggs. Um, and again, I can put them on any bird I want. There may be goals that are egg specific because there aren't. I can actually just place these anywhere I want. They're going to get the same amount of points. Um, and then I'm going to move this over. There's nothing on there. And finally, finish there. Right, Jade, on to you. Okay, so I am going to gain two eggs. Okay. Okay, and then when activated, look at a card from the deck. If the wingspan is less than 40 centimetres, tuck it behind this bird and cash one rat um, from the supply on this bird. If not, discard it. Wow, okay, so flip any one of those cards. What have you got? 20. Less than 40, yeah. Less than 40, okay. So uh, what do you get to do with it, sorry? Um, uh, cash it behind that, uh, tuck it behind that card and cash one rat from the supply of wow. that bird. So with tucked cards, it doesn't have to necessarily go under that um, card. So we just sort of put tucked cards under our board. It's a lot easier than keep moving the cards and faffing around with that. So she's tucked that card that she's put under her board and then she's got a rat as well. So that actually got you two points for doing that. Yes. But a wingspan less than 40 is really unlikely. So uh, risk for reward there. You might not hit a 40 or less, but you get a good reward. Yeah. I've got eggs now, so I can actually potentially buy that. That's, that's got good points. Oh, I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn. Um, I'll tell you what. No, I'm going to go with Anna's Hummingbird. So I'm going to go to play an egg. Uh, play a bird, even. I'm going to spend an egg. Spend a resource of my choosing. So I'm going to spend the fish. And I'm going to play Anna's Hummingbird in here. Um, and when that activates, I gain one food from the bird feeder, starting with a player of your choice. Or each of us will get on. So it's one beneficial for the both of us. Right, on to you, Jade. Okay, I think I'm going to get some cards. Okay. How many are you getting? Um, two. So, okay, it's worth noting that just above there, it does say you can pay a food to refresh the birds first, but you're obviously not going to do that. Nope. Um, you've got your two cards. Right, and then what does that one do? Um, when activated, steal a fish from another plate, but you don't have any. <laughs> I've just so. got rid of my okay. fish. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm conscious that you might keep stealing off me, so I'm going to spend them when I can. Okay. okay, you are done, so it's on to me. And I'm going to... I think I'm going to stock up with some food, to be honest. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to go ahead and get two food. Let's get some nectar while it's here. I haven't managed to get any for a while. So two nectar. Uh, and then I'm going to move this over here. Right, and it says, discard one food. If I do, gain a nectar from the supply. And since I don't have a green for that action, I'm just going to move that on. And that is done. Right, back to you, Jade. I am going to play a bird card, which will cost me an egg. Yeah. And it will also cost me a worm and a... Corn, but I don't have any corn, so I use oh, no. one of those. And I, oh, when played, draw one bonus card, then gain one card, or lay a, one egg on any bird. Okay, so there's your bonus card, which you might as well keep, and then you get a you get a bird card as well, or you get an egg. I think I'm going to get an egg. You're going to get an egg. That's okay. A definite point. There. And then uh, yeah, have a look at what bonus cards you've got. Obviously, keep it secret. Uh, mine is on show because I can't keep things in hand, but um, you're you're fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, and that's all your actions done yet. You just yeah. move over to play a bird. Uh, right. My last action of the turn. That was your last action. I've got one more. I really want to spend this nectar if I can. Um, 
Might play the, uh, I can't do the bald eagle. Let's go for the hawk. So let's go play a bird. And we're going to play it here. And it's going to be this one. So I'm going to spend two nectar to play the two rats. There we go. And I'm going to spend that egg as well. So there's my nectar going in the spent nectar section. And he's going there. And that will slide over. So that's it for the round, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, for this one, there is no goal. But we still have to use one of our cubes if we just mark the zero. Okay, because then we only get six actions on the next round. Um, we haven't got any end, end of round stuff. We're not going to be triggering any of those. Discard any unused nectar. You've used it all as well as me. Um, score end of round, which we've put the cube down. Remove all action cubes. So take your cubes back off. And what does it say? Discard and replace all the cards in the bird tray. So let's lose these. And Jade is going to pass me the first player marker back. Okay, so ready for round three. I've got the first player marker, so I'm going to take one of my actions and I'm going to get going. I don't like these cards, I've decided. So I'm going to go ahead and draw some extras. So I'll do this um, and I'll draw three cards. I haven't got the egg or the nectar to draw an extra, so I'll just go ahead and draw three. That should be enough, to be honest. Um, let's have a look at what we got. Okay, whilst I'm having a read, we'll go on to Jade's go. Okay, so I'm going to gain some food. Okay, yeah. I will also discard a card to gain an extra food. A third food, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so because you did that, you get all three of those, but what choices are you going to make? So, I'll definitely get the fish. Yep, yeah, so the fish is I out. I will get the nectar. The nectar, yep. Yeah. And a worm. And a worm. And because that empties, that automatically uh, refills there. Okay, and then... Gain a week for that card. Yeah. That's that. Go done. Lovely jubbly. Well done. I am going to... Oh, what do I want to do? Lay eggs. I think I need eggs if I want to do any action. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do two eggs. And I will discard one, two cards. In fact... Yeah, one and two cards. No, I won't. I'm going to get rid of this one and this one to get the extra two eggs, as you can see there. And I'll get those from the supply. And, yeah, let's fill up this bird up here. And then I'm going to move this along. Right, all the die that are not in the bird feeder, unfortunately, they're all in the bird feeder, so I can't do that. Then this one says, each player gains a food from the bird feeder, starting with a player of my choice. Well... I'm definitely going to choose myself, and I'm going to take this one for a nectar. And then, Jade, you get to choose one of those as part of my action. Could I take the other nectar? <clears throat> you can have the other nectar. Uh, then it's on to you, Jade. I am going to gain food. Do you want to get multiple food? or? Uh, I'm just going to get the two. Okay. Uh, you haven't got much choice, really. <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, actually... This is a point where you can oh, re-roll the yeah, all the die because they're the same. Those, so you want those all refreshed. Let's have a... I should have put this next to you, actually, because then you could have used the bird feeder properly. <laughs> there you go. Uh, which two would you like? I'm going to take the two nectar. Of course you are. <laughs> the nectar's very good in this game, actually. I'm really liking that addition. Yeah. This is actually the first time we've played with the Oceana expansion um, before coming onto camera. So you're witnessing the expansion at the same time as us. Okay, and then I will cash another coin on that card. Yep. That's doing you really well. Yes, it is, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so Nectar, do I want to use it for that? Yes, I do. I might use that one and then this one. So the first one, I'm going to play a bird. In fact, on this round, it is cubes in the player bird section. So if I'm going to play them, I'm going to do it now. Yeah. Um, I'm going to spend an egg from here. I'm then going to play this one for one rat. And I'm going to put it in that section there. The red-shouldered hawk. And then that's going to come over. Then it's on to Jade. Going to that's play a bird. Yep. Yeah. Here, which will cost me two eggs. Oh, it's getting expensive now. It is. And it will cost me two corn and a worm. But I don't have any corn, so I'll use the... The nectar. Nectar. Yeah, the nectar goes on the spent area. Oh, Jade, you're spending so much nectar on stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm going to struggle to catch up with you, I think. And when played, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. Nice. So that's obviously the bonus deck. Uh, which Well, I'll, I'll let you decide while I carry on. Because it doesn't matter what she chooses, I can just carry on with my action. Um, 
I'm going to play another bird. I'm going to play it up here. So, two eggs, which I'll take from here. And I'm going to spend a worm, but instead of it being a worm, it's going to be a nectar, which goes on this section here. And, yep, I've got another bird just there. Back to you, Jade. So you've decided on which one you want, yeah? Which one did you get rid of? Birds that eat corn. I, I, I want to see what you've got at the end. I don't want to see now, but... Uh, it's meant to be in secret, but I'm showing you mine. That's my go, isn't it? Yeah, I think you've got this. You've got three missions. You've got lots of food stashed. Yeah, these missions. And a tucked card. I've got nothing like that. Um, okay, so I will draw two cards. Okay, do you want to pay a food to refresh first? No. No, okay. So you get to draw any two you want. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw three cards. I'm not going to spin the extra egg. I'm just going to draw three. So I'll do one, two, and three. Why not? And let's hope oh, I've got some good that. stuff. You didn't have a fish, did you? I didn't have a fish, no. Um, then this is going to slide along to here. Trade one food. No, I haven't got any. I haven't been able to use that at all this game. Right, go on then, Jade. Back to you. Okay. I'm going to get some eggs. Okay. Are you spending the extra card or resource to get an extra egg? Yeah. Okay, so she's doing this action here, which you can spend a card or a resource to get a fourth egg, which is pretty good. Yeah, have you got room for them? Oh, you can yeah. store five, yeah. Right, then start moving. Okay, right. when activated, look at a card from the deck. The wingspan is less than 40. Okay. Around this card. Have a look. Nope. No, nope, okay, so get rid of it, it just gets discarded. <laughs> okay, I can't, I've got one action left. I can't play any more birds because I've got no food. Um, so I will, should I get some eggs, why not? So I'm gonna go here. Um, I'm going to discard a card. I don't really like these once between turn cards, I'm not gonna lie. And I will get four eggs. Then I'm gonna go here, tuck a card from your hand behind this bird, if I do, I draw a card. So which card am I not interested in? This one can be tucked, and I'll draw another card. Okay, then this one, roll all the dice, not in the bird feeder, if any are rats, I gain one rat to put on this card. So let's have a look, see what I get. No rats, okay. Uh, and then this one, each player gains a food from the bird feeder, starting with the player of my choice. Uh, Jade, you can go first. I'll take the worm. Yep, the worm. The reason why I've asked for her to go first is because I thought she might, and then I get to re-roll all of the die because the rest are rats. Um, and I will go ahead and take a nectar. No, I won't because it's the last round. Oh no, uh, or the last action of the round. It'll, it'll be wasted otherwise. What have I got over here? Corn? Yeah, okay, let me take a corn. Um, and then that's me done for that section. And you've got one more, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to okay. play a bird, which will cost me two eggs. Nice. Um, it will also cost me a worm and a random, so I'm just going to yep. put two nectar. Of course you are, taking okay. over me yeah. on, the <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> on the nectar. Excellent. And then that gets put all the way over. Right, so this one says use round end bird powers, which you do have. So I what do. does yours read? Um, choose one other player. Well, you're the only other player. Um, for each action cube on their yellow space, cash one random food from any from the supply on any of your birds. Damn. Okay, so I've got two, so you get two uh, food. It doesn't really matter which, because no. you get a point per, so... I'll just do that. Okay, makes it oh, easier. Sure. Excellent. I haven't got any of those round ends. Uh, discard any unused nectar. Oh. Both used it. Uh, score end of round goal, so it's cubes on player bird. I've got two. So have I. Okay, so we both get two points on that. Very balanced on that at the moment. <laughs> uh, and then we are going to remove all action cubes. So we're going to take the five remaining off. And then we're going to replace all the cards in the bird tray. Um, and then we are going to pass this on to you for the final round. This time it is beaks pointing right. Uh, how many have I got? <laughs> one, two, three, four. So I've only got to get one more point in right and it's done anyway. Okay, uh, Jade, on to you first then. So we've only got five actions this time. Yes. And it is the final round. 
Right, my first go, I'm going to get four eggs. Yep, so Jade, because she has filled up the yellow area, she then gets the action that is on the furthest right. So that's just four eggs, and she can put them anywhere she wants. And then... Hmm. Shoot it along. Right, okay, then the 40 centimetres, less than 40 centimetres. Go on. That's no, 75. No! <laughs> I don't know why I'm rooting for you. Oh, we have some uh, yellow cards here as well. So these are from the Oceana deck. Uh, yellow bordered ones are game end cards, but unfortunately she's thrown that away. I think I'm going to get points for eggs. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Mm. Yes, let's do that. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to discard a card. I will get rid of this one. And I will get myself four eggs. One, two, three, four. Uh, I can put them anywhere I want, so I can put one on there. I'm going to start filling up here as well. Right, then it says... Uh, onto this one, tuck a card from your hand. I'm going to tuck this one to draw another card. Oh, I got a game end one. Awesome. I'll have a look at that in a moment. Then this moves over. Roll all the die not in the dice tray, and I get if it's a rat, I get it. Nope. <laughs> uh, and then this one. Each player gains a bird uh, food from the bird feeder, starting with me. I'm going to go ahead and get a nectar. And then what are you going to take, Jade? I'm going to take a nectar as well. You're going to take a nectar as well. Of course you are. Uh, and then that is that action done. Back to you. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to get some bird cards. Okay. Do you want to spend a food to refresh first? or? No, that's okay. These two. Okay. Um, I need some eggs, I think. So I've got eggs and I've got a wheat and that. So I'm actually going to play this game end one. I've just had a look at it. It says, for every two eggs in my water, lay an egg on this bird. So I definitely want to get some eggs on the bottom there for some extra points. Um, so let's go ahead and play that. I'm going to do play a bird. It's going to be two eggs, which I'll take from up here. It will then cost me one wheat and a wild, which I'll use these for. The nectar goes down the bottom and the wheat goes. Uh, and then that is done. Jade, it's back to you. I'm going to go eggs galore now. <laughs> Just tons and tons of eggs on the bottom. I'm going to play a bird. Okay. Yeah, it costs me an egg. Indeed. And a worm. Uh, I'm going to go for this space here. So I'm going to get rid of a card. So I'll discard this one so I can get four eggs. Definitely going to put these along the bottom because it's now eggs in the water is very specific. Uh, I'm going to fit three on that one, that's its limit, and I'm going to fit one on there. Uh, then I'm going to go left to right, so tuck a card from your hand. Fortunately, I don't have one, so I'm going to carry on. Roll all the die not in the bird feeder. If I get a rat, I get to put it on the bird. Yes, one rat, so I get one of those and put it onto the hawk. Then I'm going to move this over. Each player gains one food from the bird feeder, starting with a player of my choice. Jade, you can go first, <laughs> because whichever one she takes, I get to re-roll all of them. I'll get the fish. Okay, so the fish is coming out, and because there's only one left, I am going to re-roll them, because they were rubbish. And I'm going to go ahead and get a nectar. Why not? And I'll take it from this one. Right, on to you, Jade. Okay, so I'm going to get some more bird cards. Yeah. Is that one? Yeah. Like a random. Okay, and then we need a, a fill up there. Um, any fish? No. Any fish? Nope. <laughs> no fish, I'm afraid. Um, okay, I've got two more actions. Uh, do I spend the next? Yes, I will actually. So if I go here and get three eggs, and if I spend a resource, which I will spend the nectar, and put it on this space here, I will get four eggs. Uh, so I can put two on there, so they're full, and then I'm going to put the remaining two on here, so they are full as well. Um, right, let's go into here. So tuck a card. I haven't got any cards, so I'm going to skip that. Roll all the die in the bird feeder. Okay, let's see what i got. Yes, I've got a rat, and that goes on there. And then finally, each player gets a food. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a nectar. I'll start first, and then Jade, you get to go. Um, out of one of those. I'll take a worm. A worm, right, okay. So take that out, and then you store that right back to you. Okay, so I am going to place a bird. This is your last action, isn't it? It is. So okay. I've got to put some two eggs. Yep. And I'm going to spend my nectar to buy it. Yep, and the nectar goes up there. It's there. And what does it say? Um, when, uh, when played, play a second bird in your... Uh, 
normal and its normal cost. So you'd have to spend the the two eggs and the food if you have it to place another one in green. Do you have another one? No. No. Okay, so you don't have to do that, and then that slides over. That was your last action. And for my last action, it's a little bit repetitive, but it's points at the end of the day. Uh, so I'm getting three eggs, and I'm going to spend this nectar just on there to get a fourth egg. Um, let's just do that quickly. Uh, okay, where have I got room? I've got room for two up there, and I think I will put two on oh, the duck. Yeah, that will do. Okay, and then I don't have any cards to tuck. I oh there are three dying the out of the bird feeder so let's have a look that's another rat so I get another one tucked on there very lucky on that front um, oh I haven't put those over uh, and then each player gains one food from the bird feeder uh, I might as well start although it's the last action so it's kind of pointless you don't get any points for food I'm not going to bother with that because Jade hasn't got another turn and food doesn't mean anything at the end um, so I'm going to move that over okay so that is us done so we're gonna do use the round end bird powers which you have don't you yes and you how many have you got in the yellow area four uh, so four four <laughs> okay so I, yeah i've really benefited you by doing four actions there uh, then we discard any unused nectar which we haven't got score end of round goal so uh, beaks pointing to the right so i've got one two three four i've only got four mm -hmm. myself Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the max is five, so you get five points on that. So you're one point ahead on there. Uh, then we remove all action cubes, but this is the last round anyway. And discard and replace all cards. We're, again, there isn't another round, so there's no point. And it says, if round four is over, use game end powers. So I'm going to go ahead and use mine. You haven't got any, have you? No. Okay, so my one is for every two eggs in the water... I get one egg on this bird. So I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which means I get five eggs on that, but unfortunately um, I can only store four more. So let's go ahead and grab four eggs. That was a really good card, actually. Okay, so that is the game done, and we can score up. So get yourself a score sheet. If you're playing with all the expansions, you'll need the one with nectar on. Okay, so we're going to score mine first, and then we're going to go to the other side of the table and score jades in a minute. So the first thing we're doing is the bird. So I've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 16, 18, 20, 24, 27, 29. 29 on my birds. Okay, what's the next thing? Bonus cards. <laughs> Bonus cards. So I've got uh, birds that can only live in water. I've got four, so I get three points for that. Okay. End of round goals? Uh, yep. So on there I've got four plus two plus four, which is ten points in total. Eggs? Uh, eggs. Okay, this is where I've got lots of one, two, three, four, 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 23 eggs. Yep. Uh, what have we got Three there? Three on cards. Three on cards. Uh, okay, I've got three here. I've got three rats. Tucked cards. And I have all of two tucked cards. Yeah. Okay, and then we've got nectar, haven't we? Uh, which we, we can do that now, and yeah. then we just don't have to do it on the end of yours. So on the top row, I've got two. And Sorry. You've got two as well. So if there is a tie, we add them together, and then we split them rounded down. So three on each for that one. Uh, for this one, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got five. Okay, so I've got f so three plus five, there is eight, and then I haven't won that one, so I only get two on that. So that is, uh, I've got ten for nectar. Okay. And then while we're at it on yours, since we've just figured it out, um, you've got two plus three is five plus another five, so you've got ten as well. Okay. Wow, okay, that's pretty balanced. Okay, so let's go round and we're going to do jades. What birds. have we got first? Birds. So if you top those up. One, three, five, seven, eight, thirteen, seventeen, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-seven. Nice, okay. Okay, uh, Bon uh, bonus cards. Bonus cards. So we've, got, oh, we've got three to look at here, haven't we? So okay. if we do one at a time. So two per bird that have got a multi... Colour. Colour on it. So that's just two. Yeah. What about what's under here? Oh, no. Yep. Just two. So, so four, point, four points. Four points for that. Yeah, we'll just remember four. four. Um, and then this one, birds with colour in their names, which I've got one, two... Ruby. Three, four... 
think that's it. Four, so that is three points. So, yep, yeah, uh, so that's seven in total so far. Um, and then birds worth less than four points. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I was only six. Oh, so that's so close to three. So three. that's ten. Okay, yep, yeah, so 10 points on your bonus cards. There's far more than mine. Yeah. End of round goals. Okay, so um, you've got one more than me, so it's 11. Because we were balanced apart from the last. Uh, then Eight. eggs. Got four. Four, okay. Uh, food on cards. Oh, yeah, this is where you're going to steam ahead. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eleven. Nicely done. Okay, and At tucked cards, I've got one. One tucked card. Okay, so this is our final score sheet at the end with everything. We're going to total it up and see who's won. And there we go, 80 to 74. What a close game. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, and normally I don't win against you actually at this ever. So um, yeah, I approve of this expansion. <laughs> but there we go, that was Wingspan and both expansions in all of its glory. We, as I said, we played Oceana for the first time just then for that video. And I approve of it. I don't know how you feel about it, Jade, but there is some really good additions in there. I love the Nectar add-on, and I love the different actions on the board. And it's another variable. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram. Please check out my Patreon for as little as £1. You can help support make these videos. And also, please subscribe. That is the most important thing of all. Subscribe to check out our future videos. But in the meantime, we will say goodbye and catch you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.